I think it's inflation, but $216 at Trader Joe's on necessities is like a little excessive. But okay, that's the world we live in. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List. I'm gonna go through my Trader Joe's haul this week. I got some new items. I'm gonna sample and review them. We're gonna see what I got. Somehow I filled up three bags of things that I needed. Um, so let's jump in. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out so much. And I appreciate you for doing that. And let's jump on in. It was a $216 Trader Joe's haul kind of day. It is occurring to me that this inflation thing is real because $216. I remember the days of like $150 hauls, $100 hauls. I did get one item in here that's like $40, but I'm really excited about that, so I will show you what that is. Um, so we're going to jump in. First things first, I picked up the Asian style vegetable stir fry. I love having this on hand. It makes making dinners middle of the week when you just don't want to cook. Super simple and it's tasty. You can throw some coconut aminos on it, a little bit of olive oil. I just, I like it. Actually, Simon's better at cooking it than me, so I'm gonna ask him to cook it. Um, I also picked up the Pacific Cod. Um, it's wild caught. I love wild caught fish. That's usually what I shop for and sustainable. Um, very yummy, so I think I wanna make fish tacos tonight or do like a veggie fish rice dish, something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, this was the request of Simon. He said to get the organic Caesar salad kit. Should be pretty good. Um, can't go wrong with a Caesar salad. And I like romaine lettuce because I find that like other lettuces, they like go bad quickly and romaine lettuce doesn't. Okay, I need your guys' help with this. Is this new? This is the Folios cheese wrap. Um, I know they had a cheese wrap in the past, but I recall it was red and it wasn't Parmesan. This is a Parmesan Folio cheese wrap. So essentially it's gluten-free, grain-free. It's a wrap just made out of cheese. And it's a wrap made out of Parmesan cheese. And I love Parmesan cheese. So I wanna try this wrap. Um, I don't know, okay, so most Parmesan cheese I believe is uh, lactose-free, and potentially I'm wrong, but this has Parmesan cheese but a blend of some other cheeses in it. So I don't believe this is lactose-free, but regardless, let's, look what it, let's see what it looks like. Kind of like if you're doing like a keto diet or like, um, let's see, keto diet or like low carb, this would be a great option. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant idea. Basically, it is just a big slice of cheese and you can like wrap, you can have it as like a snack, put some like chicken in it. I'm going to try this. Let's give this a sample. Mmm. That's really nice. If you like Parmesan cheese, I think you'll like this cheese wrap. Simon, do you want to try this? Mm -hmm. mm. Sometimes these type of processed cheese things make me break out, so I'll keep an eye on my skin, see if there's anything that goes on, but this is like really, really yummy. Wow. It recommends like, I don't know, it has like a charcuterie board inside of it. <laughs> How many <laughs> on the is photo. in the bag? Huh? How many is in the bag? There are four. Four per bag. So one wrap has four. One bag has four. That's, that is really good. Wow. Um, and then since we're on the cheese train, we're back on the Jarlsberg light cheese. Um, this is a good one for sandwiches, breakfast, sammies, anything. And for some reason, the light I find is better. I just like the texture of it. It's 50 calories per slice. And yeah, it's good. We like this one. Simon's are, I, I used to buy that all the time and then Simon picks it up when I was in Brazil. This is new um, tomato and burrata ravioli. Double stuffed bicolor pasta with tomato and burrata cheese filling. I wish I could eat this, but it has gluten, so I'm gonna prepare this for Simon at some point this week. And I got a, the new pesto sauce, which is somewhere in here, but I think that'll be really good, because burrata is like my favorite cheese, but when I was in Brazil, they had the weirdest burrata. It was like, usually like American burrata or burrata I've had in Italy, you cut into, and it's kind of like curdled inside. Well, the burrata in Brazil, like you cut into, and it was like, think of like a 0% fat Greek yogurt, how thick that is. That's what the inside of the like burrata ball was. So it just felt very like, it felt fake. I don't know if it is fake, it just felt fake. Um, asparagus saute with onions and mushrooms. I was on this like random clickbait, you know, like when you're on the internet and you get fed stuff and you're just like, I'm just gonna click it all today. <laughs> Feed me the bait. Um, I ended up on this website, like foods that are good, um, like anti-inflammatory foods. Uh, and I'll get onto more of this, but one of the things that's like really good for you, like anti-inflammatory is like asparagus. 
Um, again, I can't reference the website, so I was just like in a dark, click baby hole. Click, click, click. And um, I ended up with, so that's what appealed to me today when I saw this asparagus saute with onions and mushrooms kit. Onions are really good for you too, so. Um, can't wait to get the other item out that's anti-inflammatory. It's supposed to be good for you. Um, need to pick up some laundry detergent, so I will be doing that. Um, and some oat milk, oh, sorry, this is the almond beverage for cold brews, coffees, cereals, all the things. Um, Simon is eating this Raisin Bran cereal. He likes it. I don't eat this. I eat Magic Spoon. Um, next up for the pups, we got organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks. Um, I think they're going to be excited about those. We're at the bottom of their other bag. And I don't know where they are right now. They're somewhere. Usually they're my audience when I'm filming. Um, oh yeah, this is this is new. This is a cute little plant because I have so many plants from Trader Joe's. Like I, you don't realize you become the plant person when you buy them over time because you kind of get used to seeing the plants around your house. But then when you like buy a new plant, you're like, where do I put it? And you realize I already got a plant there. I already got a plant there. I got a plant there. Where am I going to put it? But I like this one because it was like a multicolored. It was almost like a rainbow looking succulent, which I thought was really pretty. And I've never noticed or seen those before. And then it comes in this cute little vase. So Trader Joe's is really nailing it on the vase front. So I don't know where this is going to go. I think it might go in the bathroom, but that's where my happy fern is. So I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, Gluten-free English muffins. I love these things. That's how I make my sandwiches. Chips and a pickle with the most ridiculous branding on the bags ever. It looks very suspect. If you guys haven't seen the bag. So I'm going to take a bite. These, I want to say they're back, but I feel like they come and go throughout the year. Oh my gosh, these ones look so good. And I totally forgot pro tip. Whenever you buy a, chip that's, a bag of chips that's seasoned, flip it up and open it upside down because you'll get all the seasoning on the chips. But look at all of it. Like... Some things say like, oh, it's a dill and you don't taste dill. These things deliver on the dill. Mm. Hi, would you like a chip? Mm-hmm. Or the whole bag. Um, if we make tacos tonight, I picked up the shredded green cabbage. I didn't see the whole head of cabbage, which I usually buy because it just lasts longer. Um, the onions were the best looking onions I have seen like in the last three years. Usually you buy an onion and you're like, what is the story of that onion? Like, where, what was its journey to Trader Joe's? Cause it shows up and all the leaves are everywhere and it's like bruised on one side. Trader Joe's like, to me notoriously does not have like, historically does not have the best onions. They have like, but this one's beautiful. It's like a moment we should all take in because usually you're just like, what did that onion go through to get there? I picked up two oven roasted chicken breast. Before I left for Brazil, I could not find these. They were gone forever and ever and ever. I don't know where they went. Um, they just have the Columbus brand, which is not my fave because it's got a bunch of nitrates and things in it that don't make me feel great. But I love the organic chicken breast because it's just organic chicken breast, water, potato starch, and sea salt. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, also picked up some sugar plum. <laughs> Sugar plum grape tomatoes organic. Um, we're almost going to be getting into tomato season as the summer comes. So I'm excited because that's when like the best tomatoes arrive. And what was I going to say about tomatoes? Ugh, I totally forgot. It was a tomato comment and it's gone now. They have these now, which they've had them in the bag, but now they're like the single sumo oranges are back and they've got like, I, I literally, <laughs> they've got like the biggest like um, tops to them. That's how you can kind of figure out it's a sumo orange. But I tripped over myself when I saw them and Simon looked at me like, what is wrong with you? But it's also that time of the month or like before that time of the month. And I get so clumsy. Like I drop things, I'm tripping. I, I don't know what happens. I know what happens to some other people because I was telling this to someone like how clumsy I get. And they're like, oh my God, you have no idea. I'm like, no, I have bruises. I trip, things break. It's awful. Um, so anyways, I tripped over myself when I was getting this orange. And because of that, I'm gonna open it. But they have like, it's just the most satisfying way to peel a sumo orange. They've got these thick skins and they're super like easy to peel. Whoa. I'll show you. They're just, and they're, they taste like amazing. Whatever I'm craving like a snack or even after dinner, if I'm like 
<laughs> not allowing myself to get into the ice cream situation, I'll just go, okay, tonight your sweet treat's gonna be part of a sumo orange, and it does, it really satisfies my, my cravings. So, this is it, they're so good. True story, I learned about sumo oranges about eight years ago, I went on like a hinge date, and this guy worked in like tech, he was super nice, and <laughs> He's the one that asked me if I ever had one of these oranges, and I was like, no. So then I tried them. That was really the, that was really the culmination of the date, um, was me learning about the oranges. But because of that, you never, you never know. What you can take away. Simon's out of here. Simon, would you like some orange? No. He's weeping in the corner. Mmm. Next up, mmm. This week's gonna be really fun because. Um, in the United States, there are these things called Expo West. Um, well, there's Expo West and Expo East, and it's basically all the food brands in the country get together. So it's like up and coming food brands, established food brands, and they're in Expo halls, and you can walk around, and literally like, they have every single thing. Like, all my favorite brands are going to be there. So I'm going this year um, with Simon. I'm going to meet different brands, things that I like. But I had to get hand spray because you meet so many people, you shake hands. And when I used to do commercial real estate, there was one for commercial real estate, except there was like three women. <laughs> it's like a man's world in the real estate world. And you were just shaking hands with men all day. But I'm excited to go to this one because it's just like everyone. And But you still are going to be shaking a lot of hands. So I got my lavender hand spray. I'm going to take that with me. I picked up um, two sweet potatoes. These are the perfect size. I like to make these, like I'll peel them and then just air fry them with some avocado spray, a little bit of salt, but I like peel them, chop them up in like little bites and they're just super tasty. You can put them on salads, do whatever you want. Um, I also picked up yuzu hot sauce. This is one of my favorite hot sauces. It's spicy, citrusy, and fragrant. It comes and goes, so I was glad to see it was there. I've, I wanna sample this for you guys, but like the, oh yeah. When you open it, it's like this, and it has like a little pool tab, like a grenade. It's really good. I'll put it on the spoon, sample it. And I, I, last night I was having some of the yuzu um, ice cream, which is so good. Mm. It's very citrusy and tangy, but you can make a really good salad dressing with this. What I like to do is... This one's spicier than usual. I use olive oil, um, a little bit of agave, some of this, shake it up, squeeze some lemon in it too. Um, and if you want, I don't, with this you don't really need to add garlic because it tastes like there might be some. There's no garlic in it. Mm. But it's super good. I'll, I'll try and make a, um, a video of it. You, there's no like measurement of parts really. It's just kind of like what you like. The base is usually like a tablespoon of olive oil and then you build on it based off the flavor profile you want, but olive oil, agave syrup, a little bit of yuzu, um, shake it up, so good. Okay, um, I picked up jalapeno. And then I got some sunscreen, which I absolutely love this stuff. I took it to Brazil with me and then I realized you're not supposed to travel with aerosols on the airplane. So I didn't bring it home with me. Um, so I picked up another one. Um, spicy fermented Napa cabbage. Simon asked me today if I've ever had this. And I said, yes, I just haven't had it in a while. And honestly, there's probably one in the back of my fridge. But how do I get this open? Let me get a knife. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> that was a quiet sneeze for me. Usually I am a loud sneezer, but I didn't want to blow your guys' ear drums off, so. Here we go. Let's try this. Simon, you're gonna come try like this kimchi. Can I come try this? So when I was working at Deloitte and Touche as an accountant, one of our clients was Forever 21 and they right. had a kitchen and they served a lot of Asian food, and kimchi was one of them, and so kim this kimchi particularly reminds me of when I was auditing Forever 21 at Deloitte and Touche. 
You know what that reminds me of? What? <coughs> there was this time when I was uh, going on this Tinder date. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, reminds me a lot of that. Uh, what, what a great, great night that was. What a great night. Your, your date had kimchi in it? Oh, I don't know. There's these, like, bits of it that look kind of gross. Let me put this over there. Okay. Are you bitter about my dating history from like a decade ago? That's weird. Do you like a bit of an orange? Mmm. Okay. Lemons. Oh, I also squeeze, I told you, squeeze lemon in the, um, in the dressing. Um, pico de gallo salsa hot, just in case we do something like fish tacos tonight. I thought that'd be good. They rebranded it, or they redid the logo. Tortillas, for the same reason. I like the quinoa tortillas. My favorite tortillas are the Siete brand cassava tortillas. Those are just like my favorite. Um, and then at Trader Joe's, they don't have those. So I get the gluten-free quinoa tortillas, which are good. I just want them to be a little bit smaller. For my skin, I picked up the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. I'm all out of serums right now. Um, well, I do have my like vitamin E and ferulic acid from SkinCeuticals, but my like I usually mix it with another serum and I'm out of that. So I just picked up the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum, which I actually have on my face right now um, as part of my base, and I like it. It works. Picked up some bars, and then I picked up <laughs> some garlic. So in the beginning of this, I was saying there's like anti-inflammatory foods. So I one thing I get is I don't even know if I pronounce it right. So, so, Seborrheic dermatitis or whatever. It's like when your skin gets red and flaky um, and it could be like a food allergy or reaction to something. So I just started getting it the last like year and a half and it drives me nuts. Um, and I, I put this cream I got for my dermatologist on it, whatever. It's not a steroid because that'll thin your skin. Um, but I was reading that garlic can help with that. And so because garlic has antifungal properties, it can also kill like parasites and different crap in your stomach, bad, bad bacteria, etc. So I want to start eating like a clove of garlic once or twice a week. And so I had a clove last night and I just ate it raw. And I don't recommend that because it's really hot and it was like super spicy. Um, and then this morning I smelled like garlic. Go figure. So I'm going to figure out a way to eat garlic. Um, I, I read that some people like chop it up and then put it on a spoon with like, or in some water and they drink it. Um, they definitely recommend that you, you don't eat the clove whole, whole, you have to like chop it up. Um, so I am going to, I'm going to try that. And if I figure out a way to have the garlic and not be like an anti-vampire, anti-person repellent, I'll let you guys know. Or if you have a tip, let me know. Oh, so I picked up some garbanzo beans. I just like to add them to my salad. And then I picked up this new olive and basil pesto sauce. It looks really yummy. One, I love olives, I love basil, and I love pesto. So it's got, it's a green olive base. There's walnuts. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Where did my spoon go? I'm gonna reuse my kimchi fork. So, mmm, smells like, it smells like, ba it smells like Italy. <laughs> Dropped a little bit. Mmm, that's good. I'm wondering if it would be really good, like it's very olive -y, so I'm wondering how, if you put this on like a pasta, if you'd want to mix it with a regular basil, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what. Green olives, I like it. You could definitely put it on a pasta, um, or like put it on top of chicken and cook it. Different types of ways to use it. I'll have to finagle with this one, but let me know how you guys like to use this, if you've used it yet, or if you've had a similar olive pesto. Um, Simon, would you care to join me for a, um, whiskey distilled from rice, product of Japan. So, Hell yeah. I'm really excited to try this because I, because I have a wheat gluten allergy, a lot of, um, spirits are distilled from wheat or barley, grains that don't really agree with me. And I know a lot of people say by the time they're processed, there's like 0 0.000 parts of gluten or wheat or whatever, but... I still have reactions, I get rashes, I get stomach aches, I get weird things, so I don't ever touch it. Um, so this is a whiskey out of Japan, but it's distilled from rice. So it kind of has a lighter color. Simon's very excited. It has a lighter color. This is, this was I think $40 or $30. Um, 
but it looks really cool and I'm not a whiskey drinker but I like I get jealous when I see people drinking like a big ice cube with a little whiskey and like an orange just something neat and beautiful so I'm gonna open this Simon's more of a whiskey drinker so he'll be able to give us his opinion oh that smells really nice it's got like a nice caramelly nose all I can smell is garlic. <laughs> Tell me how much to sample. Is that good? Sure. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Probably should have started with the alcohol. Oh, but you're painting. Are we going to do separate? I think so. Isn't that how you think I'm a distinguished gentleman? <laughs> with your whiskey? Mmm. It's really smooth. Mmm, that is really smooth. That's delicious. Um, I want to stay here because I need you to go through your bag. Simon filled up a bag, so... You can't cheers me and then... Not. Well, I'm not slamming it. Yeah, slam it. I don't want to slam it. It's the thing says slam it, slam no it, slam... No one's saying slam. slam it. Okay. Simon, can you go through your that bag? That literally says shot, shot, shots. Cheers. No one says shot, shot, shots. Okay, your turn. The, and now Simon's going to go through his bag. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I got some bread. The French loaf bread. What's your favorite brand of bread? My favorite bread? Um, Dave's Killer Bread. Are you talking to Dave? <laughs> Direct, that was directly to Dave. He loves Dave's Killer Bread. But I got some more of these. Um, we got these a couple of weeks ago. They're so good. Maybe even better than um, the mango. Maple pancake snaps. Problem. Why are you so angry? Why? You're slamming things. Oh, sorry. Much better. Snaps and doing with you. Got some pad ties, of course. I usually make one of those just after I've ordered pad tie online and then it tides me over till the delivery arrives. So you got a couple of those. I have a feeling you want <laughs> pad tie for dinner tonight. Um, sandwich. Stuffers. That is mixed baby kale. I haven't had the mixed baby kale yet, which Lots I'm excited baby to baby kale, baby spinach. We wanted to buy all the baby greens today because he's my baby. Um, he's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Old fashioned ingredients. And a banana. No. That's no, all that's I all got. You got. Yeah. Uh, you you uh, already got my cereal out. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, um, hang on. What were you, Before we go on, let's have some more whiskey. What were you painting? I Can was you, just putting a few... No, 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 no. Putting painting. a few little touches to... Uh, do you know what I want to try? A bit of orange, like... Can you give me a bit of peel? Why you guys do that? Oh, I want to show you the dishes I got from Brazil. Because they're really cute. So the first dish I got was this, it's like a banana. I don't know what you put in it, but I think you can put like fruits or things of that nature in it. What are you talking about? I'm showing them dishes I got from Brazil. Simon thought this was an ashtray. Um, and then I got banana. this, this eggplant dish. I don't know what you're supposed to use this as. Maybe you put your like spatula in it. Let's try it. You put your spat. Yeah, you could do that. You could put your spatula in it when you're cooking. Or I was thinking like you make a cheese tray and you put your nuts on it. Is that one? This mug. Okay, this is really cute. It's like a beer mug, but it's like it's floral and it's like a tea. It's like an extra large tea or coffee mug shaped like a beer mug, and it's got like um. <laughs> These really pretty flowers all over it. Like I fell in love with this floral pattern. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? 
and then I picked up matching little plates. I just thought they're so cute. Like there's literally, I was obsessed with them. You know you like something when you have to travel across the country with them. Oh, will you get the bowls out that I got? Cheers. And then I also got, mm, that is so good. I'm not a whiskey drinker, but maybe I am now. Um, this is like a little trivet. I think you put like so muffins. What? Is it a trivet? And then I also got these bowls, which are really fun. They like look like almost like beach balls. Oh, this one has like lemons. I just thought they're really cute. And then this red one. But aren't they fun? So I, did, I had to take like a separate suitcase. Um, the lady at the store, she like double, triple wrapped everything in um, a good wrapping paper. Like not wrapping paper, bubble wrap. And so I had so much bubble wrap to undo when I got home. But those are all the dishes I got. You okay, boo boo? That was a loud noise, I know. Um, so that's it. This is this week's haul. It was $216. Keep in mind, I think this was like $30 or $40. Um, oh, I forgot I have coffee. I love coffee so much. It's my third one today. Hmm. So that's it for this week. Um, I would love your input on the garlic eating, how to do that without the nasty garlic smell. Um, yeah. And then there's some new items, but they're not at my store yet. So hopefully they're there next week. So I'll see you guys next week. Um, and thanks for tuning in. Bye. Oh, and then also, if you want Simon to paint something next week, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see him paint because He's very good at painting, and we think it'd be fun to make some paintings that you guys want to see. So, keep me posted. Bye.